Hi traders, um, I'm just going to do a very quick update, a couple of minutes now, because the markets haven't opened yet and I don't know what's going to happen between now and when the markets open. We might gap up or gap down. I'll have to do a proper analysis tomorrow, but nothing's changed since Friday. We closed on Friday a bit higher than where we opened, but late on Friday we got some wick tops against this resistance level and then a move back down. This is an hour chart. And there's the trend line that we saw on the longer term charts. Let's go to the four hour chart and here we get the slightly longer term picture. There's the trend line that we broke up above a couple of days ago, only to head to the top of this resistance level. And then on Friday, we tried to get up through there and then just fell back down again towards that 50 period and 20 period moving average. So actually, we ended up slap bang in the middle of this range again. So no real progress. There's nothing else to report here until I see where the market opens. We might gap higher up towards this 100 period moving average on the four hour chart, or we may gap lower down towards the bottom of this range and potentially even down towards the top of this downward trend line. If you have a look on the daily chart, you can see that we did have a bullish engulfing candle on Friday, but we were rejected from the top of this range. So the daily chart looks a bit more constructive than the shorter term charts. But when you dig down into the hour and four hour charts, you see this rejection of this resistance was quite important. So let's wait and see what happens. I'll do an update tomorrow. I think depending on how the market trades at the open, I might just close both of these hedge positions and then reevaluate to see what happens. At the moment, both of these positions are in profit short from $2.95 on average and long from $2.10. But since this collapse back down towards the $2 level and slightly above, we've just been going sideways for a number of days now and there's not a lot of activity in the market. So it's becoming expensive to hold these trades and I think I'll just close them and wait to see what happens. My overall plan, as you might know, is to buy into dips starting at $2, then $1.80 and then $1.50 for an eventual target of $3.50, $3 $60 or $75 and that's the overall plan. It's going to take some effort to get up through these resistance levels. Go and have a look at previous videos to see why I've drawn those in there and also have a look at why I've drawn the support levels below at $1.80 and $1.50. If you've watched the video that I put out earlier on trading natural gas on Oanda, you'll see that my overall idea is long from $2, 180 or 150 for a move back up to 350. How long that's going to take, I don't know. And where the bottom of this move is, I don't know either. But we'll have the opportunity to study the charts. And remember, don't let natural gas rush you. If you're feeling rushed, wait for the day to close. Don't try and trade off five minute charts, hour charts or even four hour charts. Try and trade off the daily charts and wait for clear reversal patterns in terms of candles or whatever indicator you choose to use off key support or through key resistance levels with a back test and a continued move higher. No matter which indicator you use, I use candles, uh, wait for a clear signal before entering the market long. That's the overall idea. And as I said, I might just close these hedge positions and then wait to see when the market gives me a clear direction in order to enter a fresh trade on natural gas aiming for the top. I won't be adding any short positions onto this trade at any stage. I'm only going to be looking for long positions with a target at 350, 60 or 75. I hope that's been useful to you and we'll have some more clarity once the market opens a little bit later on today and we can see whether we've gapped up or down or whether we just open at the same price and faff around here for a bit. I expect though with non-farm payrolls and a bit of news coming out of Europe and all over the show this week and probably some adjustments to inventories and so on that we might just hover around this range between $2.20, $2.35 and maybe $2 potentially with a quick and sharp dip down to $1.80 or $1.50. I'll be watching these markets very closely but not acting until I see something convincing on the day chart. Well if you found that useful please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much. Take care and good luck.